everyone, welcome to Final Element tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to use Abacus to apply topology of the optimization. <clears throat> so here's our problem statement. This is a, just a plate with three holes of diameter five millimeters and the dimensions is listed here. This is two millimeter plate th in thickness uh, so we can consider that as a plain stress problem, 2D problem. There's a force applied here with an angle of tangent equals to three, and the value for that is 500 newtons. And our goal for this problem is to find the optimized geometry so that we can minimize the strain energy of the plate and subject to the reduced volume. <clears throat> Subjected to the reduced, uh, the reduced volume is greater than 60%. That means the remaining volume is smaller than 40%. So let's see how do we do that in Abacus. Create a part. So this is 30 plus 30 plus 15 which is uh, 75 in thickness. So we can make it uh, about 100 here. So we can do either saw, uh, we do shell planner and then here uh, we create this geometry first. So um, zero, zero, and 75. The width is uh, 15 plus 30 is 45. Now let's create a hole. Use the cut extrude and select the, this right length and then our hoses at here, here, here. First mark the center first. So we can mark the center here and then use the dimension tools for that. This should be 7.5 and this is also 7.5. Similarly here and here. And Yeah, this is 37.5. And now draw the circle. Let's uh, draw the circle all pointing downward, all pointing to the right. Use a dimension tour. This is five. Oh, sorry, this is radius. So it should be 2.5, 2.5, okay. Now let's go to a property. So what the material we are going to use is aluminum. Since we are using millimeter as the unit, 
So we are going to include the uh, material property in megapascal, which is 68.9 E3 megapascal. Poisson's ratio is 0.3. And here we do the uh, shell element homogeneous rate. And here we apply a thickness of two millimeter. And uh, then we assign the material. When everything is done, create assembling. Now we need to do some partic uh, participation, uh, partition to make the <clears throat> make the mesh easier, and use the partition tool. Select the right end and sketch sketch the partition. First, we draw a circle here, similar for all the loaded region. This is for better mesh later. And use dimension tools to control the radius of, make it five, which is double the radius of the hole. And we draw a rectangle here and use the dimension tools to control that in 15 which is double the size from the center to the bottom similarly here And here. Uh, and this distance should be uh, let's see. Uh, this should be 37.5 uh, minus 7.5, so it should be 30. Okay, when all your geometry becomes green, it means they are constrained. Oh, I forgot one thing. To make the mesh looks better, you also need to create a vertical line here. See here has a V, that means it's vertical constrained. Connect this two and also connect this two. Also here. This two, this three should be horizontal. By doing that, we make all the region like a rectangle, so it will be late, better matched later. Then we create a reference point here. We are going to apply load on this reference point. So we use create a couple. And we are going to fix all the degrees of freedom. Select surface and select the inner circle, which representing the bolt hole. So use kinematic constraint everything. And now we can apply the load. Oh, sorry, I forgot to create a, st a step. So create a step, just static analysis. So in the load, 
create the load now, concentrated force. Select the reference point. And here we create a local coordinate called local coordinate, which is following this coordinate, one, three. So your X origin, select this as your origin, and then select the point on your X axis should be one, three, zero. And uh, uh, and then, uh, uh, sorry about that. That's actually wrong. So the origin, let's do zero zero, and then the uh, the x axis can be one three zero. And now you can see this is pointing to your force direction. And then just randomly en enter anything. For example, uh, 0, 1, 0. Now you have your local coordinate here. Select the local coordinate. And in your x1, we enter 500 Newton. And the other direction is 0. We can see your force is pointing to the correct direction. And now we create a boundary condition. In your initial, call it ping. So those two holes are pinged. And select the region, hole shift, and select the other one. Use ping. Okay, so then we do the mesh. First change a mesh control for all the rectangular area. Make it to structure. And change the circular area. Make it to uh, just leave it free. And, oh sorry. So you cannot change the region near the hole. Now let's assign global size. So for optimization problem, we need to make it as fine as possible. Let's do 0.1. That may be a little bit too fine. Let's do 0.2 then. Now we can mesh. It should be pretty fine. You have eight, 85 southern elements. And now in your tools, uh, sorry, in your mesh element type, uh, we have shell element reduce integration. So, uh, this is our element type. Now, we before doing optimization, let's run the problem and see what do we get. Because, because it's a static problem, it should be pretty fast. Okay, so you will have the result. Let's do the edge free. You can see originally you have stress concentration on those points, and this part is mainly sub like uh, sustaining the force. But however, this part doesn't contain that much stress. But you can see that, for example, this corner and this corner are something we actually don't need. And we want to reduce the, and those blue things 
or something we want to eliminate. Those are useless to this kind of loading condition. That's why we do the optimization of the structure. So to do that, go to your optimization and create optimization task. And we select the topology of the optimization. And the region we are going to do optimize is everything other than the whole region. And we can freeze the, um, this two, um, you can select, uh, I, was, I will leave those circular region fixed. That means when you're doing topology analysis, those circular region will, be will not be considered into your optimization problem. So doing dense, uh, all other things you don't need to change. And now create optimization quantity. The one we need to use here is string energy, single term for whole model and string energy. And we need another one is volume fracture. fracture. Uh, for the, actually, uh, we only select the analysis part. So choose the volume. This is volume. And then we create our objective function, which is string energy. And to string energy. And here we create our constraint. So our constraint is the volume fraction constraint. And we should have a fraction of initial value smaller as I mentioned previously in the slides. The fraction is uh, should be the reduced the volume should be more than 60%. That means the fraction should be smaller than 40%, 0 0.4. <clears throat> and here we create the geometry restriction. So we need some frozen area, uh, call it just call it fix area, which are those small circles around the hole. Those are something we want to fix it, not include into optimization problem. Now in your job, in the optimization process, create the process here and everything just leave it there. And you can choose to save the data every cycles, let's say every uh, 10 cycles. And definitely we need the last one. And maximum cycles, normally 50 is enough. So let's submit. So optimization process is like trial and error. It has some internal algorithm inside. Abacus can actually show the process. Haven't started the first step yet. So our analysis has finished. You can see that your, uh, your objective function reaches convergence and normally your constraint will reach something close to the limit, which is 0.4. So let's see how does our result look like. So when you show the result, it asks you to rewrite the file into an abacus file. 
they can choose quantities to save. We just choose stress and displacement. And when this is finished, we can see the result. So this is our final design. And well, since we record, uh, we only left the last one. So this is our this is the optimize the result. So you can see that all this part, this corner part, and this part are removed, and the rest is containing all the stresses. And here is thicker than here is thicker than this one since our force is mainly pointing towards the right hand side that's why this part supports more load than this part and that's how we apply the analysis <clears throat> and optimization using abacus can help a lot of problems and hope that you can enjoy this video. Now let's see how to set up the optimization problem. So let's create a project, topology optimization. <clears throat> and the optimization region we are going to do is the all the rectangular region. And all other things you can just leave a default. And now we create a variable we are going to control. So create the strain energy first for the whole model strain energy. And create a volume for the whole uh the volume we cares are just the rectangular regions. So whole shift select all of that and then save volume. And then objective function here and create. As we mentioned before, string energy, make sure this is the minimum design response, uh, response value. And the constraint, as we say before, is the volume fraction. Choose the volume and a fraction of initial value, choose 40%. Now we constrain the frozen area. The frozen area is all these rectangular region. So those are not included into the optimization. Now we can go to the job and here optimization process and then create the job. I already did it. So let's see the result. <coughs> when you try to see the result, you need to convert it into abacus file first. So we ask you something. I already did it so you can see the result now. The original result is like this. It may take, uh, take some time, but it will end up with this one. Since the low is pointing to the right hand side, so the left hand, this bar is containing most of the stress, strain energy. But you can see this optimal design is not, doesn't, does not look, it's not the best design. The shape is kind of weird here. So the reason for that is although this minimizes the strain energy inside the structure, but your volume is not, if you see your job here, monitor, and then you can see the plot here. And this plot is showing your of the uh, <clears throat> objective function versus the constraint. So you can see your constraint reaches almost the limit we set 0.4, while your objective function reaches minimum. But uh, we 
wants something that the volume is smaller, while we can sacrifice some of the objective function. That's why we change our objective function to, instead of only the strain energy, we here include a volume here and change, since the volume is way smaller than the strain energy, so we include a 10 in weight than the strain energy, see whether it works good or not. Besides, if you only do that, it may go to some crazy value. S since you haven't set a limit for your strain energy, so we need another constraint which for the strain energy, which should be dropped to lower than 50% of the initial value, so that it won't blow up. Okay, when everything is done, we can go to the job, and here we create another optimization process. And I already did it, so you don't need to wait for that. And if you see the monitor, this is the result. You can see that the volume, which is the blue curve here, reaches the optimized point which we had previously, and then it, it decreased a lot this time. Because we said the ob objective function include the volume of it. And then, uh, now if you want to see the result, see it pop up a window asking you to com combine that into the uh, MATLAB result. We can select stress displacement here, and then it will convert into abacus file. And then we can see the result this time. So in this time, you can see that it looks way smaller than previous result. And, and you can see that you can even make it smaller by setting the constraint smaller and making or making the volume. Uh, let me go back here. You can even make this uh, design better by making the volume weight larger or setting this constraint, which is 40% now, we can make it smaller, like 10% or something. So that's it about the optimization problem. Hope that you can learn something from uh, about how to use Abacus to, to do topology analysis optimization here. And thanks for listening to this video.